Hey, yo, I got my boy Sling Johnson coming up, man. Check this out. It's about to be a dope show. Black Jesus himself, yo. Check it out. What up, up Sling? What up, what up, what up with it, Brent? What it do, boy? Smoke yours, nigga. Man, man, I'm I'm smoking my. I had, I had to, happy birthday, happy birthday, Black Jesus. Well, on behalf of Black Jesus, I'm gonna go ahead and accept those birthday wishes. Man, you got to, man, you got to keep it going, B, for the culture, man, for the culture alone, man. Yeah, I got, I got a uh, man, my 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 partner, man. It's weird, you know. Of course, we we coworkers, whatever, man. Uh, I'm always proud of my boy, man. But I always, I gotta do it, man. Just cause we, you know, just cause we real niggas, as they say, whatever. Nah, man, I'm proud of you. I, I give a nigga his flowers to his face, nigga. I don't care how gangster he is, nigga. To his face, nigga. Straight up, man. My boy, Johnson, man. My boy, Sleek Johnson. Right, um, Sleek, how tall hey, are you, man. bro? How tall are you, B? Just real, real shit. Six seven. Huh? Six seven, B. Six seven. Six seven. You know, I'm not gonna lie. As I think it's, I don't know. I don't consider myself short. Like y'all consider me short. But this is when when I'm around niggas like you. That's when it really sink in how short I am. Like nigga, I ain't gonna lie because I thought you was seven feet tall the whole time. Like to to short niggas like me, you because you taller than tall niggas. So we just be looking like man. But you not short, sure, man. Pull out your wallet and stand on top of it. Nigga, I would be five five if I did that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I might go down, nigga, put my wallet up. Man, six seven. I already know you. I already know you just been a, a nigga for this whole time at six seven. You you ain't even exploited. You ain't do all that punk ass sports shit. You was like, nah, nigga, I'm a real man at six seven. I know. Hey, 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 sports, sports, sports. Don't necessarily not playing sports. It's a lot of things that, that, that men do, and sports is one of them. So I just, but it's just one of them that I didn't do. So, nigga, you, you the know, tallest gangster uh, I've ever heard of. Hey, man, look here, man. <laughs> nah. uh, I'm one of the tallest of my friends, man. I'm one of the tallest of my Gang friends. Gang is what we say for friends. Gang is another word for friends, by the way. Just <laughs> I'm one of the tallest out of all my friends. I got a couple yeah. friends my height, man, or taller, but for the most part, my media circle. Like, would you, would you, uh, was you tall in elementary school? I was tall. I started getting tall around junior high, high school. Like ninth grade, I made my. Uh, I think ninth grade, I really started uh, sprouting. Yeah, man, man. I'm saying this though, like I'm more fascinated, like nigga, being from the hood, nigga. I, cause I can't. You gotta take me through your world, bro. Like I'm always. I can tell you, it's like to be a little nigga, bro. But like. You know, everybody like looks up to the big nigga. You the biggest dude in the hood, bro. That's got they gotta expect you. I would I would think they expect you to do a little like like you know what I'm saying. You go a little further, like oh, this is slink. We are gonna bang, but we are gonna bang, bang, bang today, like slink here. Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna tell you what. I ain't never been that guy, man. I always been the the guy you see today. I always been that guy, man. I always been the guy. I know yeah, you, and you know, I know like. Nigga, you probably like nigga. I ain't about. We ain't about to bang harder today, nigga. Y'all niggas ain't about to get tougher because I'm here, nigga. Fuck it, y'all. Y'all just. I'm just here. <laughs> we gonna look hard. We gonna look tougher, nigga. But nigga, I, we still it. I'm a nice guy. I'm, I'm a normal. I'm a nice. But like, hey, you you know how they say men are dogs. Uh huh. If men are dogs, I'm a great day. Man. Great Danes is just big dogs. We each had heard about Great Danes fighting and tripping, man. They, they just be chilling. They just big, majestic, regal ass dogs. You know what I'm talking about? But do, I'm pretty sure you get around a little dog every once in a while, like my dumb ass, and they hype you up. Like, do you ever get like that? Like, damn, here they go again. All the time, all the time, man. I fuck with you guys, man. You know what I'm talking about? All my friends, man. All my friends is is is, is, is vessels of energy and creativity, man, and, you know, you guys keep me going, man. I appreciate, you know, not just, don't get me wrong, not just the short dudes. I just mean the younger dudes, just the homies in general, man. We all, you, iron sharp and iron, steel sharp and steel, whatever they say. Yeah. And, you know, we just all get together and inspire each other, man. I know y'all inspire the shit out of me. You know, keep me, keep me, you know, aware of, of, of what the youngsters, and you know what I'm saying, and with, with y'all on, and yeah. You know, again, keep keep me connected. I appreciate that. No, real shit, B. No, I mean, I don't just, you know I me. Mean? I'm I always fuck with you, nigga. I, I keep that same energy every time. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, cause it's, that's for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's, hey, 
You know yeah, saying? I'm glad you keep that, that same energy because since you bought that bar, you know what I'm saying, you bought the little bar and shit, man. You ain't even invited me out to the bar, man. Hey, you ready? Where you ready? You know, you don't even need a mask. You can just pull up. You just, just hey, man, we don't you just, hey, man, whatever you want, wherever you want. Take drop care. the location, man. I see you got your cool little spot, man. I like your ambiance. You know what I'm talking about? It's the Players Lounge, man. Welcome to the Players Lounge, y'all. Uh, all right, but back dead ass though, man. Like, nigga, was you six foot in the eighth? When was like in the eighth grade? You were six feet tall. Probably yeah, probably yeah. Was about to say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably eight, ninth grade, ninth grade for sure. But eighth grade, I remember ninth grade. On one of these shoes, uh -huh. I wore fourteen in ninth grade. Uh -huh. So I had to be over six feet by right then. I just remember I wanted these uh, shoes, and they was size fourteen. In what grade, nigga? You was in the eighth grade? Ninth grade. Ninth grade wearing 14. So you was like 15 wearing size 14s? Yeah. So what size you wear now? You wear size 50? I wear 15. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, BT. I wear 15, nigga. <laughs> My nigga, yo. <laughs> Hey, but, all right, peep this, because I know, like, man, when you're growing up, I know for me, all right, there ain't no secret, Brent Short, I've been pretty much, like, the same size, like, once, damn, you know, I've been short so long, I don't ever, I don't even remember being shorter, I just, nigga, I got locked in, and it's just, I don't know, man, I just, honestly, I remember everybody just, like, y'all just gonna keep growing, it was one of them situations, it wasn't like, I had, like, y'all, like, y'all niggas, say what? Do you remember when you stopped? Like, you've been the same height since you was about how old? Just like how you noticed, and when you was in the ninth grade, you started like, oh, shit, I'm sprouting? That's when I loved it in the ninth grade. I probably know, what the fuck? Because when they used to like, like measure us, you know what I'm saying? I got a big spirit, so I always thought I was still big, even though I, I could see I had a big spirit, nigga. So I was still, one of the, I was heavyweight, nigga. And then when we played basketball, I remember they actually measured us. And this ain't on your spirit, nigga. This is going on the notes, nigga. This is going in the newspaper. This is how the other team know to fear you and all that, you know. And then, <laughs> nigga, I knew I was short. Like, cause they, you know, coach lie when when you like, like you six, seven, they, they probably put, oh, slink six, nine coming to power. They already give you a couple inches. Nigga, they gave me like an extra, they gave me like an extra foot. Like they was, they put some shit like, Nigga, I saw that I was like, <laughs> I saw where I was like, oh, okay, I'm about to do it. I'm almost, if I tippy toe, I'm right here at like five, five ish. Okay, I'm all right. And then, nigga, every year it was just, and everybody else on the team just kept big and big. So they was just like, fuck, they just, they lied every year on my height. I didn't grow, nigga. It just every year, nigga, they give me a little, like another inch. And I appreciate that, that, every, that every, every year, that little lot. But hey, Brent, man. You what you like in height, man, you definitely more than make up for in character and heart, man. I appreciate you, man. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, man. You know, I try to represent, man. You got some, you got some, hey, you got some niggas gonna be representing, representing their side, right? Representing their side too well and make little niggas look bad. I gotta take it back to Prince, though. <laughs> take it back to Prince. <laughs> I live like Prince, but I don't look like him, but I live just like Prince, nigga. It's, it's, everything cool. Entertainment and basketball, pancake. As you should. All right, no, next question, dog. Uh, honest shit, bro. We gonna get deep. I turn my mic down. Is your audio good? Guy, good. Is it good? Cool. You all right? You all right? You all right? Um, all right. You said ninth grade. You starting to sprout. You starting to notice. All right, I'm bigger than the teachers and shit now. But also, right around eighth grade, ninth grade, that's when dudes start dating and getting that girl. So I'll be, I'll be vulnerable with you, nigga. As much as I like chicks and as horny as I was as a teenager, that's probably another thing that made me, I think that's when I knew I was short too. When dating came real, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, would it be a school dance or something? Or, cause it was like, I could always get girls, but when you in high school now, it's like, you gotta publicly, you gotta show them off. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be that and then, Nigga, it was some times where it was like it was it was a couple of I ain't gonna say I was that nigga like like I like it was all bad and nothing like that. But it was a couple nigga, girls, man. I, I wanted Jader, but she just talked. I was a ugly duckling myself, man. I think I was an ugly duckling myself. I wasn't a ladies, man. I was tall and goofy. The girls didn't like me. 
Turn the mic up a little bit. Turn like just just a little bit. I said I wasn't a ladies' man. The girls didn't like me. I was just tall and goofy. Was you skinny? You was a tall, skinny dude. Like Durant. Yeah, yeah. You was like Kevin Durant, my nigga. No, nah, not like that, dog. That's good. No, <laughs> nah, I brush no. my hair, nigga. I brush my hair, Brent. What kind of hairstyle you had when you? When I you was, wave, my shit was different. No, about wave, to say ninth grade I, slink was tall I as fuck. Flat, nigga, I had a flat top in ninth grade. I probably had a. Uh, what would I have in ninth grade? I probably had a. Uh, just a little low ball fade or something, but you know, I had my flat top, my curly top, my motherfucking, um, my shag. Nigga. I was about to say, I, say it, nigga. I know you had a shag, nigga. You have a ducktail? Hell yeah, I had a ducktail. My shit was long too, nigga. I love, I love the ducktail. If, if people don't know, long, if people don't know what the ducktail is, y'all, man, ducktail's back when. You get all the back and the sides cut both, you know what I'm saying? Get your fade all around on the side, but you'll leave a little little area in the back yeah. of your head. That was for the tail. One enough for a ponytail in the, in the <laughs> nape of your neck, right in the middle of your neck, in the back right there. You fucking right. I had a little duck tail. My shit was bad on these hoes. <laughs> nigga, I'm out here, nigga. Did you grease it too? You curled your it's shit? <laughs> Niggas would put like ex baby oil on yep. their on their tip. Niggas would treat their ponytail better than the rest of their head. Real dead at have good, good hair. Good. Yeah, they would. So all right, your first when yeah, you was in high school, was... you you rocking a shack. You skinny as fuck. You said, "Man, I was tall, but I wasn't a ladies' man." Well, you remember your first girl, the first girl you got? Was she tall? That's where this is going, nigga. You say tall, nigga. These are tall, nigga. You, questions. Will you say? When you say got, you mean had some relations? No, nah, just like you mean had some like the first one you would publicly be like, cause you could you could have relations with somebody and nobody know about it. You know what I'm saying? Like you could that nigga that stay in the dark, nigga. But the first girl nigga, I got, the first one that you, school. yeah, in, in, in front of you, your boys knew about it. Everything was she tall? No, nah, she was tiny. Tidy like shorter than normal girls or tiny to you? Because everybody, everybody's tiny to you, nigga. She was, just, she was shorter than a lot of the girls. She was like a, a Jada Pinkett type shit? I wish, but nah, I'm short. <laughs> nah, she didn't look like Jada, but she's like J.D. Pinkett. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Did she that part. <laughs> Was she like, okay, so do you remember how tall she was? Did she come up? You ever dated a chick came up to your legs, nigga? I... <coughs> she was about four of them, five feet, five. You ain't shit, dog. You ain't shit. Like, I, I'm gonna let you know that to your face, you ain't shit. I'll be the first nigga to tell you, though, man, you know, guys, sure, guys, y'all come up off that shit, because uh, honestly, it's a lot of, you know, being tall ain't always just the key. It's a good thing to have, but it ain't always the key. Because a lot of time, man, these bitches don't know what they want, man. We wouldn't so say it to your right. face. Like, if I was that nigga, like, if I was, like, the new boyfriend and you was the old, I would, like, to your face, nigga, I'd be like, man, fuck you, nigga. What's happening? I act hard, but in my mind, I'd be hot. I'd be like, damn, this bitch crazy. This type of thing. Like, that's, just know that every ex-girl you had, all your exes, like, whatever dude she get with, that's the thing. That's coming at Take this motherfucker. Like, we mad at them for dating tall ass niggas like you, is what I'm saying. Like, oh, y'all need to come up off that shit. Dirty bitch. This what you was doing? This what you was doing before me? You got the bitch now, man. Don't be mad. You got the bitch now. <laughs> what's, the tallest, what's the tallest bitch you ever dated, Slay? I ain't gonna say her name. You ain't gonna say her name, but what's the tallest bitch? I know you. It happened at one point, nigga. You, you. Uh, six four. <laughs> you got you got busy with some six four, fam. Where they? <laughs> she cute or was she big, nigga? That's what. Did she look like her daddy, nigga? I, nigga, did she look like she like she give chest passes? What she look like? <laughs> was you proud? Did you show your boys, nigga. Did you show your boys off? Y'all niggas never want to show the tall girl off. She was cute. 
She was big and cute. Sound like she was fat. So she was big and cute. Big and cute. She big and you date. Hold on. Bro. Big and cute. Big and cute. Ah, this nigga being nice. Nigga, you a tall nigga. She must have been your friend or something. Y'all must she must have smoked chores, nigga. It's bigger than Tyson, nigga. You you was you was in there. Okay. Slinker take that. Okay. That's a different weight class. I'm like I think all women are beautiful. Link, I've been with you and sometimes I'll be like, look at this big tall bitch. You stop pointing at tall bitches, nigga, around me, nigga. Just because they tall don't mean I'ma like them, nigga. So <laughs> I think all women are beautiful, man. This nigga is PC. All right. Quick another next question, yo. Uh I know you know for smoking and all that, man. Everybody, you know, this nigga is the, the ambassador of the game right now, man. Uh when did you first smoke, Slink? Oh, about 12, 13, about 13 oh, years old. Going. About 13 years old. You about like seventh grade, something like that? Yeah. You remember You remember it like, you remember how it went down? Like, was it on like, you remember where it was, nigga? You just knew it. That's how much you smoked. You just know it. I did it. I can't tell you my very first time. I lost it. I don't remember. You were smoking. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Fuck it. Um. Uh, this nigga just. I don't remember my nigga. Real shit, man. That's one thing. It's just like it's real. Yeah. What was your first job? You remember your first job you had? What was the first job you had, Slink? Uh, I was an independent contractor. I sold newspapers as a young child. I remember that. I remember that in the hood. Okay. You saw what about saw how old was you? That was that's like a job you do like right before you like when you young, like before you old enough to have like job jobs. How old was you did that? I was like eight, nine. Your first real job, you got like a W two four or something like my that. My first man. my first real one I got like a W two four um was that this I was doing security. But my first real job, though, was at, at my uncle's dairy. He had a, he had a store called, uh, called Dairy Mart, uh -huh. and uh, I used to work at that motherfucker. And it was a family business, but shit, I used to work. And he paid me every week. It was a dairy, you said. Yep. On Florence yeah. and Budlong. Uh huh. He came up in the eighties, seventies, eighties, early nineties. You know, in that area of town, Florence and Normandy, you remember mm -hmm. Derry on Florence and Budlong. My uncle owned that motherfucker. I do know where that is. Yeah, I know where that is myself. I, hey, that's your people over that shit. That's what's up, nigga. That's what's up. You, um, all right, I was, I was, we was talking about this earlier, fam. Cause you, nigga, you did a lot of shit, man. Like, a lot of people, I don't know if they know, bro. Like, when did you first start rapping? Like, how uh, old, do you remember how old you was when you rapped? I was about 13. Was you nice with it? I, I'm nice as fuck. Hell yeah, I was nice. I've been nice. I'm still nice. I'm nice and twice as nice. Like, okay, put it like this. When you came, like, was it a, was it a big, like, do you sound anything like when you first started? Or were you like, nah, was, when I first started, my sound was different. Like, would you, you know what I'm saying? Like, was your flow? Nah, I don't sound like when I first started. Nah, I don't sound like that. You, you remember something? I remember something. Give me, you gotta give me something. I already know what it's gonna sound like. I already know. Come on, Slink. I already know. Don't be <laughs> tired. I already know you. Hey, no. nigga. I'm nigga. I had a rap, nigga. My first rap that I remember that I wrote that I can still remember today. Nigga, I said. I'm the devastated, motivated, always rapping, concentrated, always chilling, never ill, and woman still in voice of pillar DJ Fresh, and everybody's mamas in my business. That was my first little first couple bars right there. I can remember ever, you know. So DJ, yo, your rap name, what was your rap name? GJ Fresh. How long did that last, man? How long did you keep the DJ Fresh? G, GJ Fresh, about two years. Two years? What, and you went from that to what? Man, I had a series, I had a bunch of names coming up, man. You know, your young nigga find his identity, man. You know what I'm talking about? I had a bunch of little nicknames and monikers and handles. You came to Slink, nigga. What what made you what made you come up with Slink? 
Is that like? Slink was uh, Slink is a tribal name. All right, all right. Did you have to go through some kind of initiation in the tribe to to uh, acquire this name? Just be tall. Mm. When you're the tallest, you don't have to get you a nation. You don't. When you're this tall, they don't jump you in, Brent. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're all. They're, I wouldn't say initiation as much as I say rites of passage and rites of passages, rites of passages that are that are often witnessed by your peers and in the presence of your peers. You know, what I'm saying you go through these rites of passage, and, and you know, you you form this trust with your peers. You know, you know, going through these rites of passage. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, that's tall nigga shit. That's shit tall niggas get to say. Y'all get to do shit one time and everybody fear that shit. And then they think, oh, that's what he about. That hey, you know, that is you with this and he got off one time and scared everybody because he talked. So now nah, nigga. Nah, you the only nigga in the hood that ain't got jumped in because they was cause the hood was scared of him. I know where they can find you, man. Appreciate you. I just appreciate man. you coming through, man. Thanks for having you, fam. Hey, Brent. You all right with me, man. I don't care what nobody say about you. You know what I'm talking about? Too? Hey, them niggas, they talk a lot of shit, but I don't listen. I just smoke their weed, and, I, you know, I don't even give a fuck, man. I just let them niggas talk, but I fuck with you, brother. It's all right. It's all right. I'm a good ass, man. Black Jesus looking out for me, man. They can't, they can't no heart. Evil can't touch me.